Christmas Village 2022 full tutorial series. Commonly you realize that you forgot something important for your project when it is too late. And believe me, in real life it always happens that way. But sometimes, only if you are very, very lucky, you realize it in the early stages of your project in this case, in the early stages of a Christmas Village project. In a part of one of this series, I pointed out that I completely forgot to think about my train and my railroad during the off-season, during the long winter months. What I did instead, everything else. I planned the layout, I 3D printed, I painted, I developed new techniques, but I completely forgot my poor little Christmas train. So in the past three or in the past six and a half days, I spent all my free time, and it's not a lot, planning and trying to find a solution in order to get my train rolling on this project without having to modify the layout <laughs> somehow too much. I find the solution, obviously I uh, also uh, followed one of the comments uh, in the past, of your comments in uh, part one. Uh, what I did off camera also, I added this piece here, it is uh, 19 centimeters in that and 50 centimeters here. Maybe I will have to add another section of uh, uh, styrofoam here. Why? For the reason I just told you, because I needed to add the tracks and I will need some more space. I also added and I will switch to this camera here, another uh, let's say 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters here of uh, styrofoam here. Always adding some plywood there with some brackets under uh, the plywood uh, in order to have the tracks. Where will the tracks be present in this layout? Uh, during the past uh, two projects, the railroad has always been not uh, in the uh, first uh, uh, in the first uh, uh, few uh, centimeters of my layout. Yeah. Last season it was on the third level. The season before it was very different, and so on. Last time I had the train in plain view was in 2019, I think. Yes, 2019. I already told you that I have these 15 centimeters here all along the front that will be used for having a sea, for having a water there and the harbor there, obviously. But here I will also have intention to add my front view of the railroad. Obviously, the train can't go under the water, it's not a submarine, no, it's not a submarine, but I will need to elevate the rail roads. So I will need to build for some very long hours some piers, some pylons if you prefer, on top of which uh, on top of which, yes, on top, and on top of them, I will have a uh, width of uh, six, six and a half centimeters of styrofoam, and on top of the styrofoam, my railroad. The level, the same level here, the tracks will be at 12 centimeters from the 
uh, first layer of plywood there. And under the fierce, under the pylons, water holes. Here I will add something different. The first thing concerning steampunk. It's not for this part, I think. So the layout of the train, of the railroads, also a very long straight segment here. Then the railroad will go around the harbor section, then here. Then, then I have another level there. So I will need to have this piece of uh, styrofoam here cut it, I think, there or there, in order to have a tunnel, a gallery there. Different from last time, I think I will go with a square and one build in some way, I am not there. And then the train will go under the dessert level, all along there, and will go here. So. Maybe I will go to the other camera once again. So guys, I will have another long gallery there, a tunnel along the gallery there. And then the railroad will be here at this level, going under here and for the exact same uh, length, symmetrical uh, with the front of the view. I will use some more uh, some um, curved section having a wider uh, radius, so it will be it will be very difficult uh, to not uh, consume too much space for the rest of the project. I will do many many thing, things. I think I hope in this part too, the piers, the pylon, if you prefer. So, uh, the base for the tracks, I will paint them and then I will try to place the first segments of the tracks a cover section, then then I will also need to start uh, perfecting the stairs uh, sorry Jay, uh, I have too much openings here and there and on the uh, stairs, on the steps. So Jay, come back there. Uh, so Jay, sorry, Jay, there. Uh, so I will need to uh, start improving the view of my stairs. And then, and then uh, I will try to introduce you also the new balusters, but I don't think I will have time for that. So uh, I was saying. Uh, let's start the long process of implementing the tracks, the railroad, in what I have already planned here. Uh, obviously, I needed to go in the other room and change of scenario, uh, and I will try to go step by step. Long introduction, as always. Uh, let's roll. So, where do I start in order to? Uh, have uh, an elevated uh, railroad. I will start with this precutted uh, pieces of styrofoam, nine millimeter thick, as always. Extruded styrofoam. This is 24.5 centimeters by six and a half centimeters. Let's measure them. 24.5 centimeters per. 6.5, 6.65 centimeters. I also have some curve section, but it's not this the purpose. Uh, on top of these pieces, there I will have my tracks in the middle. Then maybe also some um, some ballast. I'm not sure. Great. Um, this is exactly the same length as a straight track, okay? And uh, I will not have a track on a single track here. I will have two tracks 
I will use the middle there, in the middle I will place half a track there and half a, a track here, okay? But this is too low, okay? I need to do something, I need to paint it, obviously, this, I want to simulate a wood. Uh, maybe some of you remember what I did uh, this little thing here in 2020, this is uh, a little uh, bridge I did and it's, uh, I, I always keep something from every project and I kept this little uh, bridge here that was not perfectly horizontal, you can see I have a centimeter from here to there because the, no, the railroad was going that way okay I have a steepness in my uh, track uh, what I use then I use the same styrofoam I'm using right now so 9 millimeters the same width yes 6.5 and then this was this is a extruded styrofoam then I use some expanded styrofoam to have some pillars there uh, and some uh, original support here. Uh, I went this way uh, with uh, some uh, wood planks there horizontally. I don't know if I prefer going vertically with the planks. No, I will go the exact same way with the um, the tracks, the metal tracks having going this way. So. Uh, at 90 degrees, uh, at 90 degrees with the uh, mm, wood planks there. Uh, in 2020, I used a soldering, a little soldering station, and I went with a soldering station to um, carve everything, every single one of these things. This time, I will change, I will go with just my beloved little pencil there. Uh, I think I will go on the same, I guess that same way. Uh, from this side I add 2.5 and this side here too. Uh, so I need to go 2.5 from one side there. And then 2.5 from this side here. Okay, uh, I will do on camera just one of them, uh, otherwise I will spend too much time. Okay. Okay, 
So after that, what I will I generally do? I do a black wash. So what is a black wash? It's some water. Too much water. Okay. Some black. A brush Why this? Always use the darkest color before then all the other colors on top of each and single one of the color will be added the white I will use four color black for the wash brown then ochre, then white. Let's go. So I will do this for the, all the uh, sides, obviously I will need to wait each side to dry out before going with the other side. Uh, I will pause the camera right now and I will get to you once I will start applying some uh, brown to this little uh, first uh, attempt here. Uh, okay, so see you in some seconds or in some hours. Okay, after around half an hour, everything has dried out, almost everything. So, what will I do next? I will do some brown, but I will do it as a dry brush, okay? Some brown, uh, yes, not very dark. I will go with some brown. For the brown is all, I will use some sienna, okay, not, I told you ochre, no, it's sienna, I will use some uh, sienna brown, sienna yellow, uh, when these will be uh, dried, uh, just, let's just wait for some minutes that everything will dry correctly, okay, dry, let's have some more paper, Let's go with some sienna yellow. This one too, almost dry brush.
now some more means of drying then last layer of white br um, dry brush in just a few minutes all right last white titanium white and my white brush this is the hardest and biggest uh, brush I use in my uh, models there it's very hard and I will always use only this brush here for white okay once again some white and with the white if <coughs> uh, <coughs> sorry I went horizontally almost all the time for all the other two layers of brown except for the black uh, wash because I needed to go inside uh, inside each and every one of the groups there and I always go horizontally for every color except for the white that I go vertically the opposite and I want to, this is a winter village, winter ice, cold water, freezing water, so white. Okay, done. The painting process is done. Obviously, I will not show you how I will do every and single one of those sections. It will take at least uh, five hours to me to complete this task here, but uh, I need to finish at least one of them and to show you what I want to achieve. Okay, so a little pause here with uh, some uh, cleaning uh, because I will need to wait please to dry a little. Then I will go with some uh, wood and glue. Good. What I have here? I have my support. Okay, and I have three pieces there. One here, one here, and two here. All these pieces here. All these pieces, sorry, are made from soft wood. This is 9 cm per 3 cm thickness, 1 cm, 10 mm. So 90 mm, 30 mm, 10 mm. Okay? Then square it one by one centimeters, ten millimeters by ten millimeters, eight nine point one centimeters, ninety one millimeters, three of them, another square one, always one by one centimeter, so ten millimeters by ten millimeters length seven centimeter 70 millimeters then this one is the most soft one of the uh, most of wood this is five millimeters thick length 12.5 12 point six millimeters and centimeters sorry and with here one centimeter one centimeter ten millimeters okay let me check if this is vertical almost
first one is done. I will use two of them, so I will pause now and I will get to you when the second one will be also finished. Okay, so see you in some minutes. Voilà. The second one needs to dry a little more than while this one oh, will dry. This one is setting down properly. It is too clear. The wood is too clear there. So. Okay, I will do the same thing with the second one, then I will have an update. Okay, let's finish this first uh, part here. Okay, I got my white one. I will go with 4.6. This is how I want it to be and how it will be done. The easiest way to do it is this one. Uh, why I was calculating precisely? Because with this distance here, when I put another one side by side here, I will get this distance here the same as this distance there. So it will be perfect, not perfect, almost good for um, uh, symmetrical distribution. Well, uh, it has dried uh, some more. In the meantime, I've completed the other ones. Uh, I still need to paint everything. Uh, this is the result, but I noticed that it is bending a little too much. So I decided to go this way and I prepared some uh, supports there. They are still somehow wet, but I will go anyway this way. So, th those are exactly the same length, okay, that I don't want to have there uh, this, the, a single track on each and uh, every support there. I will need to have this configuration here. Now, uh, one of the last things, if not the very last thing I will do in this part too, 
is to try to uh, correct some construction error uh, I made during the building of this new type of stair. Uh, you can see that you have a gap in between uh, the wall and uh, here, the last step here, you have uh, other gaps. This is the maximum gap I have here. You have uh, five to seven millimeters of gap and in other places also the gap. Uh, I don't like having uh, such a big gap here. So I will need to try to find a solution and fill up the gaps and then verify if everything is horizontally, perfectly horizontally or not. And in that case, I will try to do uh, something about it. Uh, I have another hole there, another hole in here. <coughs> I need a uh, fill material, uh, glue. I cannot use glue because it is a too, too, too fluid. I cannot use some fiber mixed with glue. It will get, I will get a mess. Uh, so I've experimented a new type of fill. Uh, I will use this powder here. This is used for molding. Uh, uh, for molding, uh, I haven't. Uh, uh, masked the uh, brand here, but anyway, this is not a sponge. Um, this is used to mold uh, objects that can also be used for um, for kitchen use. Uh, oh, air hardening, odorless, and environment friendly, and you can also use each and single one of the objects you made with this molding powder. Uh, to contain uh, your food, for example. It is not toxic. Very quick time of uh, uh, hardening, of uh, curing. It is a powder. It is um, uh, rough. The surface will be rough, uh, but uh, similar to a plaster, but uh, it's not absolutely not plaster because it will take ages to uh, cure, to set. Uh, here they have <coughs> marked the, the um, ratio between water and powder. I will not use it. I will not uh, need a, um, a very fluid, very liquid uh, mix. I will need some most solid mix. And by the way, they say that in half an hour this will be cured. I made some experiment, but um, it takes some more. A little longer, let's say 45 to 1 hour. So let's get some powder, it is white. Okay.
Okay, I was saying I will continue and uh, most probably I will show you the final result in my outro. Yes, last time. Hello there. Uh, sorry guys, this is uh, not a common point of view. Okay. Okay guys. So guys, this is not a common point of view, I know. But let's try to go this way, okay? I want to show you what I come up. Uh, the original from 2019, tw no, 2020, okay? Old one. So you have seen me doing one of this, okay? This is a straight one, okay? But then I also made this one, a curved section here, because the um, tracks will go from this level here, up, in plain, empty, nothing. So let's try to place this little one in... In here, let's say like that. So uh, this is nine, nine centimeters, okay? Nine centimeters, the base here. And nine centimeters, here I have 15 centimeters, minus nine centimeters equal six centimeters. So if I go three centimeters from the border, I get it in the plain, in plain middle. So let's try to go at three centimeters. Now it's like that, then I will try to fix everything in place. Okay, three centimeters. Like that. Uh, I think you can see it. Yes, three centimeters. Then I will add another one here. Uh, only three centimeters from the border, more or less, yes, three centimeters, uh, and then uh, I, I can go on, but you will be uh, not in camera. Then, how I proceed? I already told you that uh, this section here is in the middle, okay? Here is the middle. And I don't want to have the track like that, but I want the track to be the junction in between the track. I want to be in the middle. So let's go with a couple of them. like that and I will go here in the middle let's say this, uh, this is a 6.5 yes the track is 3 centimeters so 6.5 minus 3 equals 3.5 175 from each side it is the middle okay and so this will go this way here I don't want this to be uh, overlapping here, so let's say we go
we go like that. Three centimeters, no, this is four centimeters. Yes, three centimeters, three centimeters. Okay, uh, and this will go, I hope you can see it, okay, here we go, then I will add, I add one, two, three curves, yes, I will add a little piece of speed. a little piece like this one in here. I added this piece here, it's a, a very small piece, you can see that I've cut a, an old uh, track because the straight ones are <coughs> have another length, this is 24 centimeters, okay, and this one is just 14 centimeters, 14 and a half, but it will help me going further into the the layout and having like that. Uh, then I will add three more uh, curves here. I will add uh, after this. I will add three more curves, and then I will go the other way. Well. Uh, it's a long, long task to complete. Okay, let me try to go this way. Okay, uh, are you? No, you haven't seen me at all. Let's say this way. Okay, <laughs> strange position. Uh, it will be a very, very long task, I know, and uh, I can complete it right now. Just uh, keep in mind that having done one curve section plus, plus one, two, three, four, five, six straight sections took me 15 hours of work. 15 hours for cutting everything, modeling, not modeling, painting, gluing together, um, finishing everything. 15 hours. Uh, I also counted the time I spent cutting all the pieces of uh, uh, wood there, uh, around 30 minutes to cut the, the wood. And here we are with the first final recap of 2022, guys. I've repositioned the uh, stair, the new stairs there, and you can see that uh, the mix of water and the powder really helped uh, fixing the uh, little problems I had uh, during the uh, building of these uh, little new stairs there. Uh, it really helped filling uh, the gaps and everything else. And then I uh, waited for it to be set secure. Then I used the sandpaper to level everything uh, maximum. Now, now it is ready for, I can show you in uh, more closely if you want. And you can see that the gaps have disappeared. Uh, it is ready for the uh, first layer, first coat, and also not entirely painted because I will need to add the balusters in here. Yes, the famous new balusters that I hadn't had of the time I hadn't had the time to show you in this part two, but it will be the main focus on part three next week. Okay, guys. Uh, so this is how uh, the stairs is uh, right now. Uh, and the other part, guys. I can show you in details the effect of having this solution here, guys. All along here. Uh, I've shown you right there the uh, the tracks, then it will continue all along there. This is the effect of having 
and there is a solution here for this ear train. Then here, uh, here I will add something different because this is an arbor and if I place something like that, the boats will surely not be able to get inside the arbor. So I will try to find another solution here. Uh, I will surely need to cut some more supports there, some more wood because I have just one left. And then I will go this way too and around here and then I will continue with the back with something uh, different. This will be a very, very long task. I don't know if I will be able to complete it in the next, uh, with the next part. And here the effect in the curved section there with the supports there, uh, not perfectly aligned with this one, but I will need to uh, calibrate everything. But here you have the uh, supports, the, um, the piers, the, uh, the pylon if you prefer uh, following the curved section here of the uh, support that's why they are oriented in this way and that's why i had to cut some space in the wall there in the styrofoam that i will cover with something when maybe with some rocks when i will cover here uh, with uh, water i will paint the um, everything and i will cover with water obviously fake water guys but also from the distance guys the point of view i don't think it is too bad to go having the train rolling in here and it will surely not uh, ruin the point of view because they are exactly at the same height so i will be able to see here what it is behind uh, behind the uh, the tracks there I have space, I have 3 centimeters in here, I have here 3 centimeters and then I have another 3 centimeters there. Here I will continue uh, going that way, that way, that way. Uh, then I will go here, I will add some more support uh, because I need to go here. Then I will remove this one here and I will dig something right there in that direction in order to have the train getting under the second the second level in a straight line very difficult uh, i don't know yet because uh, i needed to be very precise because i don't want the train to risk to be uh, derailing during the season because it will be so difficult to go and uh, recover the train if it derails under the gallery, uh, under the tunnel there. I will try to find uh, some solution next uh, week, I think. So, uh, this is what I did, uh, guys, believe me. This is a very long time consuming task and uh, Yes, I maybe I betrayed my beloved styrofoam there, but uh, the piers, the pylons, uh, needed to be needed to be uh, made with plain wood because otherwise, these here, these section here of just ten millimeters, one centimeters, uh, would have not been very strong to support the weight and here. It doesn't bend with the fact that I added here the horizontal support there it doesn't bend anymore you can see that I have pushed but it doesn't bend um, why it was bending from side to side because I carved the lines the simulating the uh, wood planks there so it tended to be cut here and there and so it tended to move it's just nine millimeters of thickness guys and uh, so very time consuming first time i use this intensively some wood in my um in my project but um it's not a bad start it's not a bad start at, at least in my poor opinion okay guys i don't know what you think guys but uh, with the water and everything else, I don't think this will be uh, a bad solution at all. Here, I already planted something. Uh, I hope I can show you next uh, uh, week what I want to achieve. Uh, hey, give me five. Yeah, 
give me five. Yes, Jay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm a little mad. Um, see you for my outro in just some seconds. And the event part two has come to an end. So guys, I'm sorry if I'm a little messy, but working with that um, molding powder there is a complete mess. Uh, but it is very effective. Uh, during the off-season I've tested it with uh, a real mold and with much more water and the setting time was around 30 to 50 minutes. But using so little amount of water with the powder gave me around 10 to 12 minutes before the uh, mix was completely cured, completely set. So this is a very effective way of uh, using it and I will also need to use it uh, here on the uh, junction between the stairs and the water and also the other side once I will be uh, sure of the uh, final position of the stairs guys but uh, uh, for now on I say I say it's a new technique of filling the gaps yes it is effective yes at least for me I don't know for you maybe you will have to experiment and the supplier on that, um, of that uh, powder there uh, it is uh, uh, in Europe, but it sounds all around the world. Um, but you may surely find uh, everywhere, in every hardware store, uh, an equivalent uh, powder in your country. It's not an exclusively, it's not exclusively sold in uh, Europe or in Italy. Then this long task, guys. Uh, I was afraid, guys. <laughs> last last week. During part one, I was really afraid. I was terrified not uh, having uh, the ability to uh, include my train in the new 2022 season. But with this solution, and also I forgot. Uh, I was thinking about this solution three or four hours after having uh, uh, completed uh, the part one before publishing it, uploading it. And Robin, Robin Wright, gave me the same comment. Why don't you go with this solution here? So thank you. You confirmed my my thought, my idea, and so I went with this solution here. Uh, early stages. I will still need to add some mask. I think here and there something else. But hey, this is the first step. Uh, uh, next steps. I will fix uh, everything before proceeding and then everything else I started in uh, completely uh, desperation I was desperate that, that day uh, sa last Saturday um, but now I started uh, uh, this will be the longest task I've ever made in 20 in no, in 10, 12 years, I don't know, guys. It will be a very long task, the longest task ever done by this poor little guy here. This poor old little guy here. And please, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And if you wish, and only if you wish, see you next time. Bye.